Hey everyone, I am coming to you from my car. Um, and this is day three. And I don't think I actually put that on the post, but I will. Um, and this is, I wanted to do this tapping on, um, and I'm going to get to what people have written in the, in the thread, but I thought, um, as I was walking my dogs in a park before it looks like a storm's going to come in and it's been ridiculously windy all night. I thought doubt, doesn't doubt really surface when we just don't believe that there's a solution available to us. Um, there's, we just don't think there's a solution, um, for our unique situation, whatever it is. I know that's true for me. Oh, hey, Rebecca. So happy you're here. So think about that. Like when you're really in a space of doubt, think about we're, we're often, of course, problem oriented and instead of solution oriented. And then, uh, hey, yeah, right. Me too. Um, it, it, so it's the idea of I just don't actually believe that, that there's a solution for me. Um, so let's tap on that and then um, keep posting and I'll I'll get to the ones that everybody has posted. So karate chop. And this is me on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Even though I don't believe there's a solution for me. I can't see it. I can't find it or feel it. I choose to acknowledge I feel this way. Even though a solution to my problem or all my problems seems really elusive to me, it kind of feels like I'm barred from the solution. I choose to accept my feelings now. I'm going to do this wave thing. Karate chop, Stan. Even though a solution does not seem possible. So, of course, I stay in doubt. I choose to accept my feelings now. And then go to the eyebrow and tap through the points. If there's a solution to this, I am not finding it. I don't know what it is or how to implement it. In fact, I kind of feel trapped. I feel really trapped. And I just doubt that there's a solution for me. And of course I do. Because a long time ago, I got wired to look for more problems within a problem. What else is going to go wrong? Oh my God, what else is going to happen here? I got wired this way so long ago. So of course I have this fear and doubt about a solution. And I just want to honor that I feel this way and honor that a long time ago, I learned to become problem oriented instead of solution oriented. And I'm just honoring this truth. And I am so open to healing this now. So what if there really is a solution to this? What if there's multiple solutions, but I can't get to them and I can't see them at all when I'm stuck in doubt 
And what if the way to start to find solutions is just to work on my doubt, just honor my truth, that I doubt a lot. And what if that's totally okay? I was programmed for just this behavior. To disallow solutions. To stay stuck in the problem. And what if I can start to let myself off the hook and maybe even love and accept the doubtful part of me. Because if I really tune in, this is such a young part of me. It's such an young part of me that's been with me for so long. So my scared little child is pretty terrified that problems breed more problems. So how could I find a solution? But I'm giving this part of me a voice. Actually honoring this part of me. As best as I can. I don't want to doubt like this, but I do. And what if this doubting part of me could really use some loving kindness because this part of me has been judged for so long by so many, including myself. So I'm just honoring this part of me now. And I'm letting myself know, Emma, stop it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that it's okay. This little child in me could really use some loving kindness. Get a chorus. I really want to honor this part of me. A solution is already chosen. In fact, there's a lot of solutions that are already chosen. And I'll learn to find more solutions as I learn to give myself the gift of life, meaning loving this doubting part of me and helping this part of me to heal. And the more I do this, the more I learn to treat myself with loving kindness and patience, the more I am creating an opening for the solutions to abound, for divine timing, for divine solutions. And I like that idea a lot and then take a breath. So hope you find this helpful. And um, that's what I really find is if you think about this part of us that we, that, um, we doubt, actually loving and accepting this part, that it's got programmed to doubt a long time ago. It's like it wasn't, oh, solution oriented. And, and starting to shift that, that, you know, the saying, you'll hear me say it a ton. People that know me, I say it a ton. You can't change what you judge. So as you start to, you know, start to accept and love the part that just 
goes to default to doubt. Like, oh, there's not a solution. Oh, oh God, it's going to get worse. I mean, I circle the drain. I get taken out all the freaking time. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm circling the drain again. And I just keep uh, my ability to catch it now is really good. Um, it, I see it so much more now. And that is a win. That is a freaking win. Even though it's not comfortable, even though you'd like to like extradite it from your being, it's like, okay, there it is, that doubting part of me and learning to love and accept this part of me that so long ago, if you just think of it, it's such a young part of us. And I always say this, get a picture of yourself when you're a little kid. I have this picture of myself in my office. If it was there, I would show you. Maybe I'll show it tomorrow. I, I, I was six. And honestly, I was freaking a cute little kid that that got welts beaten into my hands at six. And it's like that little kid went through a lot. And if you could get a picture of yourself when you're really little and think about what you had to manage and go through and start sending loving kindness to this part of yourself, I think you'll find it's quite epic. And I even talk to that little girl in me now, you know, and I look at that picture and I send her loving kindness. Um, if you know matrix re-imprinting, I do a variation of it. You can just actually tap on that little child part of you and just send it loving kindness. It, it's huge to do that. So Anyway, um, I think hopefully I can correct this when I went go home and put day three. If not, I'll just put it in the thread. And Rebecca, thanks for being here. I think somebody else is here and I can't tell who it is. So thank you, whoever you are. And um, that's it. Bye for now. Have a great rest of your Sunday.